guys. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about nail care items that I love to use. And I wanted to do this video for you guys so you can see all the stuff that I like to use on my nails, like the routine that I do before I go ahead and polish my nails. So this is just like the items I use for prep and to make my nails look nice, you know, in between polishing my nails because I, I polish them a lot. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the acetone remover that I use and the one that I always get is Pure Acetone by Beauty Secrets and this is a huge bottle that I get from Sally Beauty and if you're a beauty uh, club member at Sally's you can get this for cheaper and they give you a lot in here it's they give you 32 fluid ounces in here so as you can see it's a huge humongous bottle and I just love using this it just helps get off the polish especially glitter polish I never use the ones that say non-acetone, those do not work for me. Um, so this is a must for me and you get so much of it, it's hard to run out of this. Another item that I always use is cuticle remover and I use this instead of cutting my cuticles because I really don't like you know, to bleed or anything like that around my cuticle area. So this is the Blue Cross cuticle remover and this, I don't think I will ever run out of this. There's so much in here as well. And what I do with this is I just put it a little bit on like a paintbrush that I got from the craft store. I put it around the edge of my cuticle and then I wait two minutes and I take one of these sticks like this, just like a little wood stick, which you can also get at Sally's. It's double sided and I'll push them back after two minutes and then after that. So after I push my cuticles back with the cuticle remover, I take a nail brush like this, which is another one of my essentials. And you could pick this up at any drugstore. Um, you could also get it at the dollar store in my case, which is the Dollar Tree. You always just put some soap on the brush, I get it a little wet, and I just go in there and clean off the cuticle remover from my cuticles. And then I just go ahead and wash my hands with soap. So then I just take a paper towel and wipe my hands off. And I feel like that's a great way to um, make your cuticles look nice without cutting them. But in the case that you do need to cut your cuticles, I recommend getting a quality cuticle nipper. The one that I have is by Tweezer Man, and this cuticle nipper is amazing. You can get this also at Sally Beauty Supply, but if you have any hangnails or anything like that, you just want to snip them off with this, but be very careful. You don't want to bleed, which could lead to like an infection or anything like that, and I am very guilty of always like picking out my cuticles, but I'm trying to be good and not do it. Um, but in the case that you have a really bad hangnail on your nail, I definitely recommend getting a pair of these just so you have them. and. This is a really great pair, um, they won't tear your skin, and always wash your tools after you use them, soak them in hot soapy water, and make sure that you're the only one using them. So that's a definite tip, and sticks before, but this is a nail care essential, I must have these at all times, I love these little sticks. You can pick these up, like I said, at Sally Beauty, you can get a bunch of them, they're super cheap, they're just these little thin, um, thin tipped sticks and I use these to push my cuticles back. I also use these, what I'll do is I'll take one and I'll take a cotton pad and I'll push up like this and I'll just kind of swirl the cotton around the top, dip it in acetone and just clean underneath my nails to get that excess dirt out. Especially if you have long fingernails, you get dirt under there all the time. So that's a little tip I recommend doing. I do that every time I do my nails. So make sure you have these sticks and a cotton pad on hand. Of course you always want to make sure, like I said, that you have cotton pads and these are my favorite types, they're just the round kind. I don't like using the puffy ones, um, I feel like they're just so messy and I don't know, I just feel like they don't get the job done as well. These are nice and stiff and I go through tons and tons of these and I always pick them up at the dollar store because they're only a dollar, so that's a great deal and yeah, definitely make sure you have these on hand. You can get these anywhere, Target, any drugstore, um, but the cheapest I found them for, if you're trying to save money, is at the Dollar Tree or any dollar store that is near you. Another thing I recommend having is a really great file, and you can get pick up um, any files from Sally Beauty Supply or, you know, they have them anywhere now, but definitely have a quality file that's, um, you know, not going to break on you or anything like that. I had one from Sally's that was this glass nail file. I really liked it a lot, but it broke, so... I mean, I still have to go get another one, but it's pink and white if you ever go to Sally's, and it's a really great file. The only thing is, like, it's a little weird if, like, sawing your nails creeps you out because you hear the noise. It, like, freaks me out, but that was the only thing about that. This doesn't bother me. The glass one, it, like, drove me crazy. It was, like, ah! Ten files that I keep on hand in, like, a little plastic square jar by my nail center area in my house. 
Um, so I always get a bunch from Sally Beauty. I have some black square ones. This is like my standard one. Um, these are by Tweezer Man as well. They're just purple emery boards. They're really, they're just really easy to use and quick and they get the job done. The higher, I know people get confused by this, but the higher the grit on your nail file, I know you always see grits and you're like, I have no idea what that means. The higher the grit on your nail file, the higher the shine. So if you see something that says, um, you know, 10,000 grit, that's going to give you a nice shine when you buff your nails. And the lower the grit, the rougher it's going to be. The lower grit, if you want to um, file your nails down, like if you have acrylic nails or something like that, that's when you will use a lower grit nail file. Another thing that I want to talk about is nail clippers. And um, I like these because it has a removable little portal right here. So you could take it off and, you know, all your nail clippings, which usually get all over the floor, you could just go and dump them out in the garbage so it's less nasty and they're not getting all over your floor. So that's why I love this thing and it's just really easy to use and you just always want to make sure that you have a clipper on hand so you can clip, you know, your nails. I feel like this one's really great. Um, I never have any trouble with this. It gets, you know, my nails the length I want them to be and, you know, you don't want your nails to get too long because then they'll just get like icky looking and they start to like curl under which is not a cute look so we don't want that so make sure you have your clippers the next thing I want to talk about is tools that I use for buffing and the first thing that I really like is this Revlon and this is the crazy shine nail buffer and I like this because it's double sided and it really makes your nails look shiny and one side is a buffer so after you take your polish off you just buff this on onto your nails and it just kind of like gets them ready for the next part which is the shiny part. This makes your nails awesomely shiny. It looks like you have clear nail polish on. That's why I love this thing so much and it's really cheap. I think it's like three or four dollars and I got this at Ulta. Um, you're gonna have to replace this fairly often because after a while the shine part wears off but the effect is really cool so if you haven't tried this I would definitely pick it up. It looks like so cool on your nails. Just looks like like I said, like you're wearing clear polish, which is awesome if you like having natural nails. Another thing I like to use um, is a buffer, and this is for after I file my nails and after I've, you know, washed my hands from my um, cuticle remover. There's always like a little excess nail stuff on the edge of your nail here, you know what I'm talking about. So I always make sure I take this before I apply my base coat and I just buff away that excess nail stuff that you got from filing filing your nail up. So I love this. And then there's this soft spongy side right here. You can just buff it away. But this is like the gritty side that you use to get that nail gook off from filing your nails. And these also need to be replaced quite often because they wear out. Like you can see this one is like gross. I have to throw this one out. But you can pick these up at Sally Beauty. They have a ton there. So definitely go to Sally Beauty and pick up these little nail blocks. Um, they're great. I use this every time I do my nails. Next thing I'm going to talk about is cuticle care. And I have two items that I always use on my cuticles. And the first one is, um, actually this is a China Glaze bottle that had peppermint cuticle oil in it. And it smelled amazing. It was from Christmas time. But I ran out because I used it so much. And now I filled it up with olive oil. And this is an awesome alternative if, you know, you don't want to go out to the store and buy um, cuticle oil. Just use your olive oil, paint it on your cuticles. Then I just take my little pusher backer and I just push back my nails. So definitely, you know, if you want to go out and buy a cuticle off from the store, that's fine. But this is a great option if you just want to use stuff that's at your home. And also, you know, dumping it into a little bottle that you already have that's empty is a great idea because then you could just, you know, paint it on with the brush that's already in the nail polish. One of my absolute favorite cuticle care items is the Burt's Bee Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I use this every night, or I try to use it every night. Um, this is like the best stuff ever. I love this. I go through so many of these. It's like insane, but it's just like a cream like this. Every night before I go to bed, so I put this on my cuticles. I actually just put it on now. Um, I use this before I go to bed. I put it on. I feel like when I wake up, any you know cuticle problems that I had, if I had a cut, um, I just feel like they kind of like magically go away with this. So that's why I love this product so much. I just feel like it kind of restores my cuticle. I try to make sure to use this cream every night because I just feel like it makes my nails look so much more healthier. And I just I can't live without this stuff. This is actually a new one I picked up. And if you saw my haul video, you saw that I got this at Walmart, and it's about six dollars I think. Um, they give you you know quite a bit in this tin. Um, you have to kind of like dig it out with your finger, but you can get this also at Target um, or Ulta. 
Uh, I just love this stuff so much. I go through a lot of these. I, I don't know why I go through it so quickly. I guess I take out a lot, but you really don't need that much. You just need a little bit of this, but I just feel like it's so nice on my cuticles and it feels just like nice and luxurious and it's like, you know, thick but not too thick and the smell isn't too offensive. There have been some ones that I've tried that I couldn't stand, like that Badger one. The smell was awful and I've also had Lemony Flutter from that brand Lush and the smell was just like repulsive to me so I could not use that. This one I don't mind. It's just like a light lemony scent and I love this so so much. I feel like it's just like my magic cuticle cream. So definitely definitely pick this up. You will be so pleased with how your cuticles look after. Okay so next up is base coats and this is my absolute favorite base coat that I always use and keep in mind that some base coats might work well for others while they might not you know, well they might work good for some people, like I tried the C&D base coat and that made my nails chip. This one is Jealous Advanced Nail Coat and this is just by Sally Beauty Supply. They have a section in their store with like these different color cap polishes and this one's green and I just like this one. Um, I really like this one a lot. I have to actually get a new one because I'm running out. But this is just a really great base coat and this is also the best for if you put on glitter polish to put this over the glitter and then put top coat on. Um, cause you know, glitter will like, sometimes if you put on glitter, you'll see it'll eat the top coat and it won't look shiny. If you put on a layer of this and then put on your top coat, you'll see that the glitter looks more smooth. So try that out. This stuff is awesome. Coats work with different people, so you kind of have, might have to test a few to see which one works best with, you know, your nail chemistry and just like things like that. Next up is top coats and my absolute favorite, which I'm sure is a favorite of many, is the Seche Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. I always get mine from Sally Beauty because with the beauty card it's um, less expensive there and I just, this is amazing. It gives you that glossy shine, it makes your nail polish last longer, it dries in like two seconds. I feel like I can go and pick stuff up like right away after I use this. I mean, not like manual labor, but I can like, you know, I can go do stuff without feeling like my nail polish is going to really get messed up. So this is like the most amazing product, life changing top coat ever. I recommend this to everyone. If you do not have this polish, you definitely need to pick it up. It's the best. If you do not have this nail polish, you definitely need to go pick it up. It's the best top coat ever and you will not regret it. You will be like transformed. Like your whole nail routine will just be completely different than it was. So such a vitae and you need to pick this up. And I think this is like $6.99 maybe. Um, it might be $6 with the Sally Beauty card. Another honorable mention I want to give to my uh, nail routine is the Beauty Secrets Nail Polish Thinner. And this is, um, you know, not really nail prep, but it's just like a handy item that I like to have. And this is also from Sally Beauty. And if your nail polish is getting thick or anything like that, which it tends to do, you know, don't throw it away because you can still use it. And this stuff is what you use to get it back to life. So you just put a few drops in that thick nail polish, shake it up, and you'll see the consistency it's just so much better so pick this up I don't remember how much I paid for this but it's not that much and you only use a few drops so it'll last you a long time and this is just like a great product to have around if you have a thick polish that you absolutely love and you don't want to throw away and you want the consistency to go back to what it used to be definitely pick this up this is an awesome item and it'll save a lot of your nail polishes okay guys so that was my whole video on nail care I hope you enjoyed this and I'm gonna put a list of all the products um, down below or on my blog or on both. And I also want to tell you guys that I just got my new website up. I'm really happy about it. I'm excited and it's www.camberlymitchbeauty.com. I'll put it right here so you can see and I'm going to put it down there. So it's my new website slash blog and it's a lot of fun. I'm so excited about it and I hope you guys will go visit it and I'm going to put um, I said this already. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can go to it. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you like my new website. And um, yeah, make sure you go visit it. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!